welcome to another video if you watched our last video we were l and b tow bars in bristol having air suspension fitted so was it worth it wow what a difference it makes to the ride it's a much smoother comfier ride much more comfortable to drive and improves the handling i have to say i was a bit skeptical about it but andy convinced me that we needed it doing and i hate to admit it but he was right so please if you're interested in um, getting air suspension fitted give the team at lmb a ring and i'm sure they'll tell you all about it we're now testing out the air suspension we've got a three hour drive um, across to shrewsbury we're staying at daisy bank touring caravan park which is just over the onto the welsh border and um, was watching rob and lynn on tour and their video when they went to shrewsbury and it looked beautiful so we thought right we'll give it a go couldn't get on that site, so we found this on Pitch Up. It's an adult only site and part of the Tran Tranquil Parks group. So here we are, just arriving. As you can see, the entrance is a little bit narrow for a bigger van. We were towing the car as well, but we managed it fine and just take it steady. As you come up to the barrier, there's an information hut on the right hand side, and just on the left is reception and a small shop where you get yourself booked in. Um, staff are very, very friendly. It was no problem at all. Um, they gave us a barrier code and actually walked us down to our pitch. As with most sites, you get a little information booklet that tells you all you need to know about the site, and the important stuff like the electric, which I will cover in a minute, and the local amenities. As we go for a walk around the site, as you can see, the roads are all sort of compacted gravel and um, the pictures are all hard standing. Some of them are a little bit on the small side. These ones here are quite big. Most of the vans that you can see on site are seasonal pictures. They're all locked up for the winter. There's probably only four or five of us actually staying on the site while we were there. So it was lovely and quiet. And um, there's two facilities blocks. This is one of them on the left hand side. We didn't actually go into that one, but we'll take you into the other one and uh, give you a tour around. We've also got quite a few of these lodges on site and there's a couple of camping pods which are available to rent out. <laughs> All the pictures are fully serviced with fresh and grey water and that's your electric meter there which I will show you. As you can see the pictures are quite narrow and um, you can just about drive on but then any additional vehicles you have to actually drive over the grass. They, they were happy with you to do that we did check um, but it's a bit of a nuisance and gets a bit muddy. So this was the other um, toilet block so you've got showers off to the right hand side washing up area outside and then um, ladies and men's toilets on the front have to say they were extremely clean as you can see they're really nice and they even had heated floors so they were really cozy not cold at all even with the doors and windows open all night really really well looked after and it's an added bonus that the 
shower rooms had a shower toilet and sink in so yeah they were kept really really clean So the electric, you are on a metre, when you arrive they put three pounds of credit on it for you. If I don't know what's happened here with the video so I apologise for that. Um, you need to go up to reception, get this little card which you put your money on and then you hold it against the screen and that adds money on. They do refund whatever you don't use um, but it, we found it was quite expensive. We were using around £13 a night and it wasn't that cold, it was windy and wet but it certainly didn't drop below sort of five degrees, so just be mindful of that. So this is the dog walk, um, it's fully enclosed, really good dog walk. Um, it does get a little bit muddy during the winter months, so I would advise bringing some wellies. In fact, I went and bought some because it was that muddy. But you can let them off and say they can't get anywhere and you've got beautiful views. The site is quite remote as you saw on the way in um, so it probably is advisable to have some form of transport if you come in here. It is a very main road so vehicles probably better. If you go out of the site and turn left just a couple of minutes drive there's a co-op, um, a deli, post office, petrol station so there are amenities close by. We had a ride out to Bishop's Castle, it's sort of a 5-10 minute drive from the site really nice pretty little town unfortunately when we went everything was shut um, but we did actually get to see all the lights on which was really nice it looked really pretty so it'd be worth going back there during the day unfortunately we didn't get a chance to go back because we were off gallivanting elsewhere but yeah it was lovely The main visit, reason for the visit was to head into Shrewsbury, I didn't actually get much footage in there, it was very very busy and we didn't get that long due to the car park and um, the machines weren't working properly so we were a bit limited on how long we could stay but we'll definitely be back, we really enjoyed it. Um, we then potted down to Iron Bridge, the river was very high and they were installing the flood defences just in case, definitely worth a visit though, really really beautiful. We actually got to walk through all the little houses because the road was shut which you wouldn't normally do and it is absolutely stunning. So if you get the chance to head down to Iron Bridge it's uh, definitely recommended. We give the air fryer a go in the motorhome so we've been to Lakeland and bought this one it's currently on offer at 59.99 it's a three litre basket we've chosen this one because you get the three year warranty from Lakeland so we've got some bagel pizzas ready to go in so let's give it a go 
find out it isn't big enough to get two side by side. A little bit of a squidge. No, that's quite hard to do one handed. pizza mode and off we go see how we get on Let's see how we're getting on not bad nearly there there we go four minutes and it looks like we're done pizza bagels four minutes in the air fryer we had a ride out to Ludlow which was very similar to Bishop's Castle a very small town with plenty of shops a market and even a castle we did find that there was plenty of little towns like this really beautiful ones with sort of a 20 30 minute drive away from the site so there's plenty to do and places to explore enjoyed this video and it's given you another place to add to your list to visit and thanks for watching we will see you on the next one